Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at Active Directory. Now, this isn't a uh, Google service per se, but the thing is, no matter what you're using, no matter the cloud service provider, you'll want to know Active Directory inside and out because it's fundamental knowledge and most enterprises are using it. And now with everyone going towards a zero trust model, uh, you know, identity and Active Directory just go hand in hand, okay? So we're gonna put some extra attention here on this one. So Microsoft introduced Active Directory domain services in Windows 2000 to give organizations the ability to manage multiple on-premise infrastructure components and systems using a single identity per user. So here is the big architectural diagram that I created. So the idea is that you have your, uh, your enterprise, which is the forest here, and these are made up of domains. A domain is a, is a means to host these different uh, uh, directory services, uh, and it's also the means to which people um, uh, authorize or authenticate uh, uh, to your directory, okay? So the idea is that you can think of domains as actual uh, servers, and you're gonna have to, have to have redundant ones because if the main one goes down, you'll wanna make sure people can still log in and do their business. And you might want domains that are closer uh, uh, to the region uh, to which they are authenticating, so things are very, very fast. That's why we're seeing a lot more here uh, than just a single one, okay? Uh, when we look inside of a, a domain, doesn't matter if it's child or domain, we have organizational units. These are just ways of uh, structuring maybe departments or things like that. And with organizational units, we have objects. And so objects could be groups, uh, users, uh, printers, uh, servers, uh, devices. We saw a larger list when we listed up directory service, so we don't need to go through it, but the idea is that it's just basically uh, things within your network, okay? Uh, then we have Active Directory Domain Services, uh, sh uh, shortened to ADDS. So these are the services or that consist of multiple directory services. All right, I know it gets confusing because there's directory service and then there's directory services, but these are services within a directory service, if that makes any sense. So domain services, these are the foundational uh, foundation stone of every Windows domain network, stores information about members of the domain, including devices, users, verifies the credentials, uh, and defines the access rights. Uh, the server running this service is called a domain controller, all right? So usually when we talk about the actual server that people are calling them domain controllers, all right? Uh, so uh, some of the services uh, that can be found uh, within Active Directory would be Active Directory uh, L uh, Lightweight Directory Service. So this is an implementation of LDAP protocol for uh, Azure Directory Domain Services. We're gonna definitely talk about LDAP in this course. We have Active Directory Certificates Services. So it establishes an on-premise public key infrastructure, create, validate, revoke public key certificates for internal uses. All right, we have Active Directory Federation Services, so a single sign-on. We talk about single sign-on in this course too. Uh, so users may use several web-based services, network resources, using only one set of credentials stored at a central location. We have Active Directory Rights Management Service. This is a server, server software for information rights management shipped with Windows Server, uses encryption, and a form of selective functionality denial for limiting access to documents. There's a bunch of uh, terminology for Active Directory. I want to uh, get you used to it, so let's go through it. Domain is an area of a network organized by a single authentication database, and an Active Directory domain is a logical grouping of 80 objects of a network. A domain controller is a server that authenticates user identities and authorizes their access to resources. So this is the logical grouping, and this is the actual server that does the work. A domain computer uh, is, a com is, is a computer that is registered with a central authentication database. A domain computer would be an AD object. An AD object is the basic element of an Active Directory, uh, of Active Directory, such as users, groups, printers, computers, shared folders, uh, GPOs, Group Policy Objects, is a virtual collection of policy settings. It controls what AD objects you have access to. Organizational Units is a subdivision within an Active Directory into which you can place users, groups, computers, and other organizational units. Very common to make your departments uh, out of OUs. Directory Service, uh, such as Active Directory Domain Service, provides the methods of storing directory data and making the data available to the network users and administrators. A directory service runs on a domain uh, controller. So, you know, hopefully you have some kind of idea what Active Directory is. Uh, but yeah, that's the quick crash course, okay?